Which you guys got another video here for you on how to design your own Windows 11 start menu. Now we all know that this start menu is not everyone's favorite, but if you want to design it by leaving the menu in situ, then I'm going to show you how you can do it in this video. And this is going to allow you to completely change the look and feel of the Windows 11 start menu by using some of the methods I'm going to show you in this video right here. And it's completely free. So what you need to do is head over to the website called Windhawk, and this is going to allow you to download the software. Now there's plenty of mods on here to choose, and you can customize it to the way you like by using this piece of software. What you need to do is hit the download button to download the software. You can see it downloads very nicely and easily. Now this is on Windows 23 H2, so it does work on this version of Windows. And all you need to do then is install the actual software. So let's go ahead and install it. And I'll take you through some of the mods and some of the ways you can customize your Windows 11 start menu. So choose your language and then click OK. And then I'm going to do standard in installation, but you can do a portable installation as well if you wish. I'm going to do a standard one, which is recommended. Click yes to use account control and then click on install. Once that's done, it's going to extract all the files and install them on your system. This is completely reversible. So once you've set this up, you can reverse it and go back to the stock Windows 11 start menu if you wish. And I'll show you that as well. What we need to do now is click finish. And now what we need to do is head over to uh, the Windhawk website and you'll see there is plenty of modules that you can use. You can browse all of these mods uh, for your browser. And I'll just quickly go through some of these here so you can see them. Uh, but the one, some of the ones we're going to be using here is we're going to go through and use the Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. This is what we're going to be using. And if you click on this, it will take you to this page here. And then you can come down and look at the images and you'll see it can remove the recommended, which means it's going to remove the adverts that Windows wants to push on you through uh, the recommended section by using this bit of code we can change it to look like the image above. And I'll show you how to do all of this in the video. It gives you simple instructions there to follow as well. And I'll show you two methods on how to customize it. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. So let's go ahead and click install and install this on the system. It's gonna say, accept uh, the terms conditions here, and it'll go ahead and install that mod on your software here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now from here, we can go advanced like it told us and go to the mod settings here. And from here, you'll be able to load in your mod settings right inside here. I'll show you that way in a second, but you can also do it in the settings panel here. Under control styles, you've got a target and a style. And all you need to do here is under control styles, add a new style, and then basically put in the target and style that you want. This is a little bit more harder to do this way because you need to know what you're doing to make it work but I'll show you both ways anyway so first off what you need to do is get the code which they do offer and all you need to do is paste the target inside target that it says which is a target and then the style you need to paste in the style which is also in that list let me go ahead and do that right here and then all you need to do now is come down and add a new element so just down on the list on the control area here you'll find add new element so let's go ahead and do that so i'm just going to add a new one here and paste it in so i'm copying and pasting these off of their website and just pasting them into here and this is the more difficult way like i said so we're going to add another element here and do one more target and one more style so let's go ahead and do that and once we've done this uh, we will be able to then save these settings and it will make those changes that what we're doing here and we are removing the recommended section on our actual menu here so let's go ahead i'm just going to change the height here as well so let's go ahead and add another new layer here so let's go ahead and do that and we're going to paste the target in and we're going to also paste the style in so let me go ahead and paste these in like so and we got the style here that we need to do this is going to be the height of the menu let's go ahead and paste that in there now of course you can change this to your own height but you can see it's 504 that i've got it set to here once that's done we can save those settings and you can already see that it's now removed the actual recommended section which means microsoft won't be able to force ads on you by using this menu if you wanted to later on down the line 
So you can go through here and there's a bunch of other ones that you can go through and have a look at the styling of this as well, which I'll show you how to do as well. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. But if you want a, a menu looking like this, you can do. And if you want something a bit narrow, you've got that option there as well to have a more narrow one, which is what I'll show you how to do here. So all you need to do here is come down to the bottom and there will be some code there uh, which you can have a look at. So on the advanced tab, it tells you to copy the content and it's all this content right here and you can save it inside the uh, mode settings here. And uh, that's what we can do here. I'll show you how to do that as well. So what I'm going to do next is going to go back and add another uh, new element here. And this is going to remove the search bar from the menu. So let me go ahead and I'll show you that right here. So all we need to do is paste in this command here on the target and this will remove the search bar. Next up, we're going to go styles and we can now remove that by adding the style in and then we can save it. So let's just paste this last style in. And then once we've got that in, we can now click on save settings. It's just two simple bits of code. Now we can save those. And now when we look at the menu, you'll see the search has been removed, which is quite nice. So if you don't want the search on there because it looks a little bit uh, bulky and you don't want it on there. But now we're going to add these applications on there as well and keep it nice and narrow. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go back to what it says here by copying the code. So all you need to do is copy this code and I'll show you the other method rather than putting it in one at a time. We'll copy and paste all of this code into the section that they're telling us to do it in inside the advanced tab. So let's go back to the uh, software here and we'll copy this into there. So I'm going to open up the software and from here we need to go to home. And then from the home page, we can go up and we can go to where it says advanced, come down to where it says uh, mod settings. And you can see all the mod settings that we've added in there one at a time. And again, we can just put uh, all of this by just deleting all of this content inside here. Don't worry, it won't change what we've done already. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it in here. So it's blank now. I've deleted all that. And now we're going to paste in that code. All we need to do now is click on save. And that should now have changed those settings. So let's have a little quick look at the end result here. And there we go. We have now just added the all apps down the left hand side here. And of course, we do have our pinned apps on the front and we've removed that recommended. And it looks so much better. And we can change the color of this as well to a nice dark theme if we wanted to. I'm not going to go through any more of this, but you get a general idea of how this program works. It's really, really powerful. And of course, you can pin your own applications, remove all the junk on here that they Microsoft try and force on you and pin your own stuff on here. So it makes it more usable. So Windhawk is a very powerful tool. There's plenty of other mods on here that you can have a mess around with. Check them out. I'll leave all the links in the video description for you. And if you want to remove them and go back to the default settings, you can do. It's a very simple process. Right click on the application and open it like so. And then where it says installed mods, you just click remove and click remove mod. And it's now removed. All of the changes we've done to it will go back to default just like so. So it's not uh, harmful to your system at all. And it's easily reversible. So if you're sick and tired of using the Windows 11 start menu that Microsoft have to offer and you don't want to spend any money, you can use something like this one to change it and customize it to your own liking. I really do like this software. I think it really does make the Windows 11 start menu a lot more usable. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I'll be happy to read your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.